All right, Shalom, most iron Christ bless. I'm Captain Palu to my right. Officer Daniela. So check this out. It's another episode of 15 Minutes with the Captains. Today I want to go over uh, the purest of gold. Uh, basically, I wanted to go over this. If you're going through any trials and tribulations and you're wondering why, just realize that this is a part of the process, all right? Us going through trials and tribulations and going through all types of adversity, we're supposed to go through that so the Most High God will purge all the impurities up out of us. That's why he always refers to fine gold, all right? So we're going to go over a couple of scriptures, and Lord's will just build you up so you understand, that especially if you're new coming into truth, or if you've been in the truth for a while, and now you're starting to really go through those trials and tribulations, that you can go to these scriptures and be able to build yourself up, all right? Let's go to Sirach 2, chapter 2, and uh, start at verse 1, and we'll jump down in a minute. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. Come on. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So out the gate, it said, if you come to serve God, prepare your soul for temptation. You're going to go through things. A lot of things is going to try. A lot of things that you deal with, you're going to have encounters with them, and you got to have to deviate and move, maneuver around all those things so you won't fall into that temptation. You're going to go through trials and tribulations, all right? You have to. Come on. Verse 2. Uh -huh. verse, verse 2. Set thy heart aright. Get your mind right. Because this ain't for the weak. I'm telling you, this truth is not for the weak. People get complacent. People get, uh, what does it say? What is it? Complacent. People get, what's the other word for complacent? Uh, comfortable in this truth and idle. And some things... When you get to that, to, that, to that mind frame, you start to fall off, all right? The Most High God said, set your mind aright. Get right, all right? Get your mind right and get prepared for this because you're going to go through some stuff. A lot of people think coming in this truth, everything going to stop because you got some understanding now. No, it gets harder for you, you know what I'm saying? Because now you know better. You know better. You understand the scriptures now. So now you're going to be accounted for it. Come on. Set thy heart aright. And constantly endure. And constantly endure because you're going to go through this until Christ come back. You're going to go through trials and tribulations until Christ come back. So prepare yourself, all right? Don't bug out because you're going through things. Get help. That's what the body is for, for you to get help. Come on. And make no haste in, the time, in time of trouble. So don't leave when things get rough, things get hard, all right? Don't leave. Don't run away. Don't go back into the world when things get rough or use situations that, that occur in the body to say, all right, I'm gone now. This is the reason why I'm left. But really, you want to go back into the world. That's the truth about it. All right? You're not enduring the fight. Jump down to verse 5. Sirach chapter 2, verse 5. Uh-huh. For gold is tried in the fire. Because he said gold is tried in the fire, meaning you is going to get tried in the fire. The Most High God is going to put you through things to see how much you truly love him, how much you truly want the kingdom of God, all right? This is not a game. This isn't Christianity where you go to church and you sit on a pew on Sunday and think that you, you're saved by the blood of Jesus. No, you're not. Christ ain't came back yet, yet to save nobody yet, have he? So we all got to endure to the end. Come on. For gold is tried in the fire. Come on. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Because only those people that go through the trials and tribulations that endure is going to make it to the kingdom. All right? You got to endure. You got to go through these adversities. Get 1 Peter uh, 1 and 7. 1 Peter 1 and 7. I'm telling you, when you're going through trials and tribulations... Do not fall off. Get help. Reach out to somebody, all right? Don't try to do this on your own. A lot of people want to take care of their, you know, try to deal with their sins by themselves. And sometimes that sin can be too strong and overwhelming. You need help. You need somebody to be there to get you through it, all right? Just quit being scared. You need somebody there. Come on. The book of First Peter, chapter 1, verse 7. The trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish. It said the what again? Being much more precious 
than of gold that perish. It said the trial of your faith, the trial of your faith being more precious than gold. Come on. Though it be tried with fire, uh -huh. might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. So we got to go through these trials and tribulations. That's the glory behind it. That's the glory of the kingdom for us to get all. Listen, we got to go through some stuff. Remember the scripture says straight is the gate. Straight is the gate that only one person can go at a time. Nobody can save you. Nobody can help you along, all right? You got to find, it's, I'm telling you, we're going to make it by, by this much because we're going to go through much trials and tribulations. We got to endure, but that's the glory of it. We got to earn, we got to earn ourselves to get to the kingdom, all right? The most High God has showed us mad mercy. So we got to earn to get back to the kingdom, all right? Uh, is that it on that? Yes, sir. Give me uh, Romans 5. Romans 5 and verse 3. We must endure, all right? We must endure. We must deal with our problems, our situation. We must, you know, take on the adversity head on because it lets you know the most High God is still dealing with you. When things are so gravy, when things is going super well, you're not going through nothing, uh, you, you probably need to re-examine yourself. <laughs> he said, because who he loves, he chasteneth. All right? You're supposed to be going through stuff. This is how we discipline our kids. All right? Come on. This is the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 3. Come on. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. We glory in tribulation. We're supposed to glory in tribulation. We're supposed to be, okay, the most high God dealing with me. I got to get over this. We glory in that. We glory going through things. You shouldn't be holding your head down all the time, man, woe is me. No. You're supposed to glory in your tribulation. Come on. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Because the trials that you go through, it worketh patience. It humble you down a little bit. It makes you more patient. It sits you down where you got to think about things. Or examine yourself. How you dealing with other people. Them tribulations are, are, are get your mind right. All right? <laughs> Come on. Verse 4. And patience experience. And the patience that we have, you gain experience. All right? You gain experience to not only deal with your problems, your trials and tribulations from here on out, but also those that's dealing with the same same issues. We go through these trials and tribulations and we gain experience over time. When a new brother, new sister, or somebody that don't know how to deal with a certain trial that you've been through, now we have the experience to show this person how to deal with their, their situation, how to overcome this trial and tribulation. That's what we gain experience for, all right? We got to learn how to deal like that, all right? Come on. And experience hope. And an experience the hope. The hope is that we pray that the Most High God send Christ to come back for the nation of Israel and we can make it back to the kingdom. All right? That is our hope right there. Now give me uh, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 1. Lamentation, the fourth chapter, and the first verse. There's another scripture of many that explain us being the goal. All right? Pretty much the Most High most of our dog in us. <laughs> you got it? Go ahead. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 1. Come on. How does the gold become dim? It said, how does the gold become dim? Come on. How is the most fine gold change? So we've changed. We've lost our way. We, we, we've at the bottom. We went from being a precious gold. Now we're dim. We, not even, we don't even know who we are as a people. We don't even know who we are. We're tarnished. You know what I'm saying? We're the fine gold, but the world don't, the world know we are, but we don't know. We've become, we've changed. We think we Gentiles and other stuff. You know, we robbing, shooting one another. We can't, we hate hating our brothers and sisters. We've lost our way. We've changed. We're not that fine gold. But we gotta come back to the law of statutes and commandments to get ourselves back illuminated. Come on. The stones of the sanctuary are poured out uh -huh. in the top of every street. Come on. The precious sons of Zion 
comparable to fine gold. The precious sons of Zion comparable to fine what? To fine gold. Well, you are the gold. You, the most High God is comparing you to the finest gold ever. That's who you are. But you got to believe that. You got to go through things. You got to go through trials and tribulations. All right? You got to endure, though. Come on. How are they esteemed as earth? Earth, earthen pitchers. Earthen pitchers, meaning what? That it was made, the Most High God created us to rule the earth. He made us this fine gold and we messed it up. An uh, earthen pitcher is like a, something that, that was made, like a, like a, like a, a potter's deal, like a, like a, it's a pitcher, but it's, it was handmade. So the Most High God handmade us to be on top, all right? He made us to be that gold. To be illuminated, it said, let your light so shine before men. We their light. We the salt of the earth. The most high God created you to be that. But guess what? You're going to go through some things. You're going to go through a lot to make it to the kingdom. Come on. The work of the hands of the potter. It said the work of the hand of the potter. Who's the potter? The most high God. He created us. He the one that made you who you are. Remember the scripture said, give me, uh, hold that. Give me Jeremiah. I wasn't even trying to go here. Give me Jeremiah chapter, chapter 1, verse 5. Real quick, hold that. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. You got it? Come on. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. Come on. Before I formed thee in the belly, uh -huh. I knew thee. He said he knew us before he even formed us in the belly. He already knew who we were. All right? He knew who you were. Come on. And before thou camest forth out the womb. Before you even came out the womb. Come on. I sanctified He thee. already sanctified and blessed you. you. You was made to be great. You was made to, to, to rule over nations. You was made to be the fine gold. That's what you were. You was created to be that. But it's up to you. It's up to you to endure. It's up to you to keep the commandments of God. You have to if you want to obtain the kingdom. The kingdom is ours. All we got to do is keep the commandments. It's guaranteed for you. All right? And endure. Come on. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. The Most High God ordained us. Ordained us to be prophets over the, I mean, of, of the, you said, read that again. And I ordained thee a prophet unto uh -huh. the nation. Unto the nations, all right? They ordained, the Most High God ordained us. He knew us from the womb. Before the womb. So we got to know that, all right? Give me, uh, go back to Le uh, Lamentations 4 and verse 2 again. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 2. Come on. The precious, the precious sons of Zion, uh -huh. comparable to fine gold. Comparable to fine gold. Come on. How are they esteemed as earthen, pe earthen pitchers? Come on. The work of the hands of the potter. Uh -huh. Verse 3. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. Uh -huh. They give suck to their young ones. It said, even the sea monsters <laughs> give suck to their young ones. But come on. The daughters of my family has become cruel. We became, the, the daughters of our family become cruel. We've lost our way, bro. Come on. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. Uh -huh. The tongue of the suckling... Uh, the suckling child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. Uh -huh. The young children as bread. Well, so why they even mention an ostrich? <laughs> what is an ostrich is like the worst parent ever. You know what I'm saying? That means that we don't have no care. We don't have any care for one another. I have no care at all. You know what I'm saying? We've lost our way. But we're supposed to be keeping the commandments of God. Give me... um. Second Timothy's two. Second Timothy's chapter two. Uh in verse seven. Wait just a second. Let me get it. Yeah, give me second Timothy chapter two. Verse seven. Start at verse seven. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 7. Come on. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Uh -huh. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead, according to my gospel. Come on. Wherein I suffer trouble. When I what? 
wherein I suffer trouble. Wherein I suffer trouble. Come on. As an evildoer, even unto bonds. Come on. But the word of God is not bound. Come on, verse 10. Verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. I endure all things for the elect's sake. Come on. That they may also obtain the salvation which is in, in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Uh -huh. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him. If we be dead with him, come on. We shall also live with him. Uh huh. If we suffer. And if we, we what? If we suffer. Uh huh. We shall also reign with him. So it said, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Meaning, we're going to go through the same thing Christ went through. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org